people. What's up? It's John Avenger again. I got a little friend with me. Um, I'm uh, doing another video of, ho of horror films. I'm, this is not a first time view. I saw this movie a long time ago, but I wanted to show you an underrated uh, horror gem from 2010 that I saw in the theater and I had a blast watching it. Fix it up a little bit. Okay, there we go. And it's uh, it's not a remake. It's like its own movie because uh, I don't feel it, it, it takes from the original. But it's fun, and it's called Piranha. This is the 3D. The, this is the non-3D version. And my little friend here gives it a seal of approval, right, Fishy? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Piranha 3D. If you haven't seen this, uh, I saw the 3D version in the theater. This is just a 2D version, but the movie is still a blast. Uh, you got killer fish, you got girls' tits, you got, you know, great locations, you got a decent cast. I mean, I don't think the cast is horrible here. Uh, you got Elizabeth Shue, Christopher Lloyd in the cameo. You have, um, whatchamacallit, um, Jerry O'Connell, Ving Rhames, Jessica Zor, who is lovely, and Stephen R. McQueen, uh, Steve McQueen's uh, grandson, who I think is a decent actor. I don't think he's horrible. He's not as bad as Jason Ritter. Uh, but, you know, the fish are killers, and uh, there's so many of them, and, and the CG pr looks pretty good for 2010 standards. It looks a lot better than the ones in Piranha 3 D. And the film knows what it is. It's a B-movie that was in the theater in 3D, and it was a fun blast. It was a blast to watch. It says it right here. Um... This movie is a complete blast run, don't talk. Yeah, Alexander Aja, the guy that did the remake of uh, The Hills of Eyes, did a great job with this. His commentary was pretty fun. They, they knew what kind of movie they were making. They were not shooting for an Oscar. It's a B-movie that's fun, gory, and it's pretty fast-paced. It's only 88 minutes, so it's not too long. And uh, Fishy likes the film. You know, uh, it, this is not a piranha, by the way. This is just like, you know, flounder or something. It's really cute. I have this, I've had this puppet for years. And uh, I wanted to show, you know, that even a fish puppet can like uh, this movie. Because this movie gets a fin of approval from this fishy right here. And, uh, you know, I just, I had fun with this movie in the theater. If you guys haven't seen this, don't, don't hesitate. You know, uh. Definitely do not let your kids watch this movie. It's not for them. This is only for an older crowd from, eight, uh, I would say, 17 and up. Don't ever let a little child watch this movie because it's very violent and it would probably give them nightmares. But any adults out there, watch this film. There's a great scene in like the middle of the film that's 10 minutes long. It's a gore fest. There's so much blood and so much practical effects and so much chaos you don't see coming. And I'm just like, whoa. And, of course... A bonus for people though who don't like Eli Roth, he gets killed in the film, and I'm glad because he deserved it. He's such a prick in real life. But Fishy wants to say goodbye, <laughs> and um, Fishy likes this uh, movie. Check it out. Stay away from Piranha 3 Double D. It's worse than this. This is at least a fun movie. That one I w won't even bother with. Also, you could check. I would also recommend the original Piranha from the 70s. That one's pretty good. Piranha 2, the spawning, ugh, fishy goes, no, 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 no. So, that's my, uh, small, my thoughts on Piranha 3D. This is just a 2D version. The DVD only is 2D. The, only the Blu-ray, I think, is the 3D version. But, fun movie. I like the film, and I think it's underrated. So, fishy's gonna say goodbye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. And, uh, I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys. Hope you keep watching my videos, you know. I'm here to have fun, just like the rest of you. Uh, subscribe, give a th thumbs up, give a like. Leave your comments. I'm ready to read them whenever you're available. And I will talk to you guys later. See ya.